Alright you guys, so we're gonna start off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Granite. It looks like this. Um, this is the um, Dip Brow Pomade that I always use for all my eyebrow like tutorials or whatever. Same product, but maybe different colors in my past videos, but I've been sticking to the shade Granite. Uh, I'm gonna be taking it on the uh, Morphe M158 brush. It looks like this. And it has like the little spoolie on the, on the end, on the other end. What I usually do is I'll usually just take some of the product itself on the cap. And then I'll just kind of like, you know, take off the excess just to kind of make it like really sharp. Like this. Um, I usually like to do this just that way it's not too, the brush is not too like clumpy with so much product. Just so it kind of like flattens it out. And once I have that, I'll just go ahead and start lining the bottom part of my brow. I'll usually start off like around right here. Not a little bit in the front that we have enough um, room to like fade it out. So I'll brush up my eyebrows. Um, obviously, I do recommend you guys to kind of have your eyebrows like at least cleaned up. It will like make the process like way easier too, especially if you're starting off. You'll have a guide of like where to like line your brow. So I usually just go ahead and start off right here. And I usually just do like a little line since I like always do my eyebrows. I'm kind of like more like sure of where my line goes so i'll usually just drag it in my desired shape i kind of try to follow my natural eyebrow shape but you know if i want to curve it a little bit i could curve it if i want to make it a little bit more like arched i'll do that too but i kind of just follow through with my natural shape and it looks like this so far okay so now since i already did that i know it looks like really like extended right there but once i do the top it's all gonna come together and of course we're gonna also be concealing the brows so don't worry about it looking a little messy but obviously try not to make it too messy so that way when you clean it up it's also easier for you so i added a little bit more product and now i'm gonna go ahead and start off on the same place and just kind of like start feathering the product upwards to kind of blend it in inside the brow kind of like you know actually fill it in too but just don't drag it all the way up because we're going to add more product to make it more defined at the top. And uh, from here, I'll usually start fading the bottom section of my brow to get that like faded effect. I won't take no more product and I'll just go ahead and slowly with the lighter hand, start lining it. And you could already see it's already starting to get that faded effect. Okay, so I went ahead and added more product now. And now that we added more product, we're going to go ahead and line the top. And where I'm going to start lining the top is the same place I started on the bottom, but just on the um, upper side. And I'm going to start off like around right here. And you see, since we added more product, the line is more defined. As to when it has little product, it's going to look a little bit more like patchy and not enough product on there. So I usually start lining it. And a good way to make sure if it's not too like thin or too thick is you want to kind of like look at look at from this side of the brow to this side and it's kind of like two parallel lines. And then from there, they'll kind of like um, help you in a way to make sure it's like the same thickness. And then obviously right here, once you get to the little arch part, you kind of want to make it the meat. So it's like, you know, thinner. So it's not all like obviously all parallel and then like hecka like thick over here too obviously you need a tail so now that i did that i'll usually grab more product now and i'll just start filling in the brow whatever's left because now we have like our outline so now we just want to go ahead and just fill it in and then when you get to the front right here we're going to do the same thing no more product we're just going to go ahead and start lightly filling it in and you see there you have it you have like that little faded effect right there and yet it's really like you know nice and full over here and then now what you could also do is now just use the spoolie to brush through the brow to make sure there isn't no clumps okay let me do this side so i could kind of so i could kind of explain to you guys what i mean by like having two parallel lines so you see i outlined the bottom side of my brow now i'm gonna fill in the top this is also another way you guys could do it too if it um, kind of helps you guys a little bit more. So you see this side of my eyebrow, how it's like two really straight lines that are kind of like parallel. And you see now what I mean by like connecting at the tail. 
obviously you're gonna do your little arch of your tail how you would like it and then now right here follow through with that arch and make it meet and i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys what i mean by parallel and obviously now i'll just fill it in the same way i did with this one so now that i have those filled out i'll usually um set the brows i guess you could say with um eyeshadow i use black eyeshadow to save my eyebrows obviously you don't have to do this step you could just go ahead and skip right on to like concealing but i really like my eyebrows to be like really bold i know people don't like that but like i mean i like my eyebrows like that so i usually just take any black eyeshadow on a like a different angled brush and i'll just go ahead and just start like setting the brow Okay, so since we did put powder on, I am going to just go through my brow with a spoolie just to take off the like extra little powders. And I know it's going to get like a little messy, but it's okay because we're going to clean it up with concealer right after this. So now we're going to go ahead and be cleaning out the eyebrows. The concealer I'm going to be using is my all-time favorite, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. A lot of you guys are going to be coming at me saying, oh, this is not my shade trust me it's my shade right now my skin is red it's not my actual like skin color compared to like my neck it actually matches once it oxidizes so please i don't want to see no more comments say my concealer don't match <laughs> so anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and take this concealer with my simply segments one fourth of an inch brush this is a paint brush this could like probably find any angled brush that's like really nice at like an art store um but if not you guys could obviously also just use any you know angled or even a round brush but i like to use an angled brush just because it's like i don't know i feel like it works better so what i'll do is i'll take some of the concealer and i'll put some on my eyelids like that and i'll usually just you know work from there instead of putting it like on my hand or on like a little plate i find it just easier just put it on the eyelid right away so what i usually do is this is pretty like self-explained i guess you just like clean out your brow um another way if you guys don't have a steady hand i suggest you rest your hand on your chin and it'll help you like have more of a steady hand that's a really helpful tip if you're starting off just to rest your hand on your chin to give you that much more like steady hand so i usually always start off from the front and just work my way all the way to the end of my brow you want to be really patient with the patient with this um step if you do want to get that really nice cutout brow so as you guys can see i just like kind of like outline it but not all the way to like the actual brow and i just like work my way slowly and just cut it if that happens it's okay you guys could always just go back in with um, your brush and go over it and if it's like a little dragged out you could just wipe it exactly in that direction it's going though don't only go like this or like that exactly in the direction it's going and then just keep going you guys just need to be really patient in doing this part because I know it is really stressful to get that really clean out brow but as you guys can see, even me, that's I've been doing my eyebrows like this for like the longest, I still mess up sometimes. So it's not like, you know, you guys are the only ones messing up. And sometimes if I want to just perfect it, you know, I could just go back in and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it for the bottom. And now let's go ahead and start doing the top. Okay, so I already went ahead and did this side on the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and start the top now. Um, I usually just, you know, take whatever concealer that is also like down here just to kind of like you know fill my brush with more concealer and now what i usually do is i'll start off in the front i always start off in the front like right in the very front when i clean out my brows but not when i fill them in so i'll usually just you know slowly put the brush and just start cleaning it up Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side, same thing, you know, very patient and slow. 
so i like to make sure they're always like connected it looks like a whole unibrow right now but that's honestly what i think it's gonna make them come out like as even as possible Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a little mini sponge. This is a Real Techniques mini sponge. Um, you see that concealer that I have right here and right here? Obviously, I'm going to just blend that all over my lid just to kind of like, you know, prevent it from drying up a little too much just because I know right here it's already starting to dry a little bit. And I'll usually go ahead and add more concealer just because, you know, I like it to be really full coverage right there. So... Now I'm just going to take the little sponge and start blending it out. And I did like, I put a little bit right in the middle right there so I could just blend it out. And they'll like, you know, obviously take away that unibrow and also help out with like that faded effect. Okay, so now obviously it looks like totally not my color, but like I said, it matches my neck. I promise you guys it matches. Um... Once I'm done blending all this out, now I'll go ahead and blend this out. I usually like flip my hand like on top, squeeze this little thing like this, and start like blending it. The same petty motion in the same area. And once I see like it's kind of like diffused, I'll like blend it out a little bit more inwards. Slowly though. And then you start getting that faded effect, which I really love. And I'll do the same thing to this side because this side is a little bit more this way. And like that, I'm pretty happy on how they look so far. Alright guys, so now for the final step on the brows. And now we're going to go ahead and, you know, just like finally set the brows with some brow gel or, you know, this fiber volumizer that I use. This is the Maybelline one. I like literally get it at Ross for like five dollars or 3.99 i think it's like 3.99 so this one's in the shade dark brown and i really love this just because it like has little fibers to like make your brows look even more full so i'll usually just apply this like this kind of like making the little brows go upwards in a way and then dragging them downwards over here on the end all right guys so this is the final look on the eyebrows I hope you guys really did like this tutorial and found it pretty easy to explain to explain to understand. Um, I hope I under like explained it pretty good. Um, I think I did. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments though. So obviously I'm not done with like my full face of makeup. I'm obviously gonna just do that off camera already. But I just wanted to. I just did like a little bit of foundation on the top just so you guys kind of see you know like kind of the final look. But this is what it is looking like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did like this video. Again, like I said, don't forget to follow all my social medias. It's all at Makeup by La Huera. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.